Hi there, this is Rob from Kiss Payments. We're just doing a quick video to show how to manage the wireless manager from your dashboard. So we've logged into our dashboard. You can see our name up here, Welcome Kiss Payments. And if you have not already downloaded the wireless manager app, you can go to More Tools. Yeah, wait for that to load up. And then up here, simply search wireless. Let's see, come up, wireless manager. And in our case, we've already downloaded it, but uh, otherwise you can follow the instructions here to download that wireless manager. The wireless manager is the app that manages the SIM card that is located in your Clover device. And each Clover has its own SIM card. So if I go to open app, in this case, I'm going to go from the dashboard. So again, starting from the dashboard view and then going down here. Once you've downloaded the app, you'll see um, it becomes a, a menu item on your dashboard. So click on wireless manager. And when you open it up, you will see all of the clovers that are part of that merchant ID. So under your business name, however many clovers you have you'll see them identified by uh, their own SIM card. So you'll also see the corresponding serial number. The serial number again can be found by opening up the paper slot inside the paper slot on the Clover, or you can go to the device itself and look up under devices uh, when you log in as an admin. So what we've done here, of course, is we've matched up the serial number to the uh, person with, in this case, we have individual advisors with their own Clovers. So I know who is Clover is which in this case. So you can also name those uh, as well. So what happens is whenever you use, um, when you open up the wireless manager, download the wireless manager, you are going to be billed $15 for the month to use that particular app. And if you don't use any of the, the, the chip functions, in other words, the 3G functions, taking it out into uh, away from Wi-Fi, taking it off Wi-Fi or uh, not using it or having your Wi-Fi go down and using it. Anytime you're not, you're using it, it's going to charge you. But anytime you're not using it, in other words, you've disabled, and that's what we're going to talk about today, then you're not going to be charged for those days. So in this case here, if I was to enable that particular chip and you'll notice here it says activating so once you have the wireless manager downloaded it will automatically find all the clovers in your system and once you've downloaded the wireless manager it will also update on the clover devices themselves too so the other option to do this is you can also do this through the um, Clover device itself, not just the dashboard. But today we're just going to do a quick video on the dashboard just to show you how, how it works. So once you've enabled the chip or disabled the chip, depending on uh, which it is you want to do, then in this case we are enabling the chip. So it's going to make this device able to use the 3G chip. So they can now use that device um, out uh, in the field outside, uh, they can go to, you know, individual businesses. They don't have to log into a Wi-Fi account in order to use it. They can now use it by uh, using the chip inside, so the 3G system. The chip is an AT&T chip, and it will find whatever um, network is the best for it to use. So wherever it happens to be, it'll find the best signal and use that. Um, I'm just going to refresh my screen here. So you can see here uh, the status is active for this particular SIM card. So this device and only this device uh, will now be charged for this one day of usage. Uh, so in a day, a 30 month day, $15 divided by 30 days is 50 cents a day. So I would be charged 50 cents because I've now enabled that chip for this day. Now, if I leave that continuously on, it will continue to charge that same per day rate until it reaches a maximum of $15 for the month.
So 15 is the maximum uh, for the charges for the data charges. Now if I want to turn off that chip again from the dashboard, I simply hit disabled and it will go through the process of again disabling that chip so that uh, it cannot be used on the 3G basis but it also means that um, you won't be charged for that chip. So again the dashboard my computer is a little slow today uh, wireless manager Find the device that you want to either turn on or turn off, or all of them, in, that, in whichever case that may be, and simply enable or disable with the toggle switch.